everybody hope you're all well so I'm going to be doing today what I'm calling the World Cup of early Beatles solo albums and this is just for a bit of fun there's no science involved at all here but it recently dawned on me that because of my recent Ringo Starr um, experience of listening to his first few albums for the first time really because I've never really done anything with Ringo's albums that because of that I now know the first four albums by all four of the Beatles. So I thought I'm going to throw them together and do a do a World Cup of early Beatles solo albums today. So I have got Ringo's first four albums here. I've got that's uh, Sentimental Journey, Bokus of Blues, Ringo and Goodnight Vienna. I've got George's first four albums, All Things Must Pass, Living in the Material World, Dark Horse and Extra Texture. Paul's first four albums, McCartney, Ram, Wildlife and Red Rose Speedway. And John's first four, Plastic Ono Band, Imagine, Sometime in New York City, and Mind Games. So, I am going to throw these albums together. I'm going to do a knockout style draw, and we're going to see who comes out in the winner. But in what way? I'm not just going to do best album. Um, I don't want to do it like that. I've got some categories, and I don't know yet which category it is I'm going to be ranking them on. Uh, I've got I've got four different categories, and I'm going to pull one out of a hat once we've done this draw, and we'll see what I am going to base it on. I'm either going to be basing this on the, on songwriting on the album, my overall enjoyment of the album, how much fun it is, because, you know, it's entertainment, it should be fun, or epicness. So it's going to be one of those four categories, but I don't know yet which I'm going to be doing. So first of all, I am going to take these 16 albums that we've got here. I'm going to mix them all up and I'm going to do a live draw to see who's playing who in the first round. That's the jewel cases mixed up. We'll start on the digi packs now. Okay, and now I'm going to throw these two together and we're going to see what order they come out in and that's our draw. Okay, they are all very nicely mixed up now. I've no idea what order they're in. So I'm now going to do a draw of these 16 albums to see who plays who. Are we ready? This is as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. So, first up, we have got Wildlife versus McCartney. It's an all Paul clash first up. We've then got Living in the Material World versus Goodnight Vienna. We've got Mind Games versus Sometime in New York City. It's an all John clash. We've then got Ringo versus Dark Horse, Imagine, will play Sentimental Journey, Extra Texture by George is up against Plastic Ono Band. We've got Ram versus Bokus of Blues and our final match in the first round will be all Things Must Pass versus Red Rose Speedway. So that's the draw done, but what actually is this competition going to be? Well, I've got four golf balls here with the different categories written on, and I'm going to draw one in a moment. So it's either going to be overall enjoyment, fun, songwriting, or epicness. So I'm going to put these four golf balls into a hat, quite literally, Give them a good shake and we're going to see what is it that this video is going to be. We are going to be looking at overall enjoyment. Right, okay, let battle commence. So our first clash of the first round on overall enjoyment is McCartney versus Wildlife. It's all Paul. So I think I do enjoy Wildlife. I do get a lot of enjoyment when I'm listening to that album. But there can only be one winner for me in this particular clash. It's got to be McCartney for uh, for Maybe I'm Amazed, which I think is probably the best song he's ever done, in my opinion. I think things like Ooh You, Mama Miss America, they are they are fun songs. I really enjoy Karina Crory at the end as well. So as much as, you know, 
overall enjoyment, mumbo, bit bop, etc. It's a good album, I do enjoy it, but McCartney's going through to the next round there. Sorry, wildlife, you're out. Next up, we've got. Ooh, ouch. Good Night Vienna versus Living in the Material World. This is interesting. Now, I think if the fun category had been pulled out, I would probably, well, almost definitely have gone with Good Night Vienna because it is a good, fun album. Overall enjoyment, though. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean what I think is the best album. It's just which am I going to enjoy most if I put it on? And do you know what? I think I am going to go with Goodnight Vienna, even though I've only just recently got to know this album. I think I, th I just really enjoy listening to it at the moment, and as much as I appreciate what a really good album this is, and it is a fantastic album, I think I'm probably going to get more enjoyment from this, more appreciation for that, but a enjoyment here. So, Goodnight Vienna, well done Ringo, going through into the next round. We've now got... The clash of the definitely the two um, lower ranked John Lennon albums in this uh, in this contest. Sometime in New York City versus Mind Games. Overall enjoyment. <laughs> Which am I going to enjoy most out of these two? Well, I think to be honest, and I might surprise a few people here, because of songs like I think Where All Water is just a good laugh. Uh, and I mean that in a good way. I don't mean that is in a uh, listen to Yoko. I mean I really enjoy listening to that song. And although this is by far the most political thing in the whole of this list, I do really enjoy listening to this. And whereas I think that I think Mind Games is just not a particularly apart from Bring on the Lucy, Free to People. I don't really enjoy listening to that. So sometime in New York City inexplicably for overall enjoyment has made it into the uh, the quarterfinals well done you're as shocked as I am to be honest uh, so next up we've got Ringo versus Dark Horse overall enjoyment so well this is this is this is a tricky one what enjoyment do I get from Dark Horse well Harry's on tour is a is a decent opener Ding dong, ding dong. It's, it's kind of. I don't really. In, to be honest, I don't really enjoy listening to this album. I'm going to be honest. Now, Ringo, we've got. I'm the greatest. I don't think I'm the greatest is a particularly great song, but it's, you know it's quite enjoyable. It's you've got John Lennon on there. That's good. Sunshine Life for me is a, is an enjoyable song. Photograph is an enjoyable song. Six o'clock, the Paul McCartney song. I'm I'm seeing no other winner here for overall enjoyment other than. Ringo. I did not expect Ringo to be getting two albums in the quarterfinal, but there you go. He, he has already. Well done. Next up, Imagine versus Sentimental Journey. Overall enjoyment. Which am I going to enjoy most? Well, there is only one winner here. This is one of the greatest albums of the 1970s, I think. Quite possibly. Well, it's definitely in John's top two. I, I love listening to this album every time sentimental journey it's it's nice it's, it's all right there's nothing offensive there but no there's it's not even a debate is it imagine goes through to the quarterfinals next up we've got plastic ono band versus extra texture now to be honest overall enjoyment there's only a couple of songs here that i really would say i enjoy listening to and that would be you and this guitar can't keep from crying other than that it's not an album I particularly enjoy a great deal. Plastic Ono Band, you know, if this was the fun category, you know, you're not going to back this as a winner. But overall enjoyment, it's a classic album. Absolutely sails through to the quarterfinals. Two more matchups in this first round to go. We have got Ram versus Bokus of Blues. Overall enjoyment, I enjoy listening to Bokus of Blues. It's good. I really like $15 Draw and uh, Silent Homecoming are my two favourites on there. But this is Ram. You know, this is this this is another no contest. In terms of overall enjoyment, Ram is just a great album that I love more and more as time goes on. Ram is absolutely through to the quarterfinals. And our last match of the first round is Red Rose Speedway versus All Things Must Pass. Oh! This is a nasty one for the first round. Overall enjoyment. 
This is tricky. All Things Must Pass is clearly the better album than Red Rose Speedway. But which am I actually going to enjoy more? So if I, I'm going to be honest. Get on the right thing. Uh, Little Lamb Dragonfly and several others. I'm going to get more enjoyment from this. But that's the better album. But we're not. It's not what we're looking for. We're looking at overall enjoyment. I am putting Red Rose Speedway into the quarterfinals. Let me have it in the comments if you disagree with that, because I can see that that's going to cause some fireworks. So we've got our quarterfinalists. Let me set up the quarterfinal draw, and I'll be back in one second. Okay, we're down to the last eight. The quarterfinal, and the first one is McCartney versus Goodnight Vienna. Overall enjoyment, remember, we're looking for here. I really, really enjoy, at the moment, Goodnight Vienna. But, for decades, I've really, really enjoyed McCartney. And I, I honestly, as much as I'm enjoying this, I cannot say that I enjoy it more than McCartney. So, um, McCartney is going through into the semi-final. And uh, Ringo's out there. Next up, oh wow, this is a heavyweight clash for the quarter-finals. Imagine versus Plastic Ono Band. So remember we're looking at overall enjoyment and this is a fantastic album um, and I do really enjoy listening to it and you can say exactly the same about this. I think, oh God, you get something like God, for example, on here. I, I can't enjoy a song more than that. But then in depth here with songs like the, the title track and Crippled Inside, Jealous Guy, Give Me Some Truth, Oh My Love, How Are Yoko, but... How Do You Sleep is not an easy song to listen to. So this is a tough one, but on balance, overall enjoyment, I think I'm gonna go with Imagine. I'm probably gonna come off the back of listening to that, having enjoyed it more than this, but this might be the better album. So Imagine goes through to the semi-finals. Next up, Ringo versus Sometime in New York City. One of these is gonna be an unlikely semi-finalist, I think here. Overall enjoyment. Well, interesting. Uh, again, this is you know this is a good fun album. I think if we were judging it on fun, I would go with this. If we'd have been judging it on um, epicness, I'd have probably gone. Well, I don't know actually. Neither of them are really epic, but overall enjoyment. Wow, this is a tough one. I think this. I'm. I think I'm going to go with some time in New York City, just because, again, I think I really, really love things like We're All Water. I've always liked John Sinclair. The title track New York City is good. Some of it's not as easy to listen to. I think The Look of the Irish is a terrible song, but I do enjoy listening to this album. So I'm sorry, Ringo, but you're out. And sometime, who would have predicted some time in New York City would get to the semi-final? But it's The Look of the Draw, guys. And our last quarter final is Ram versus Red Rose Speedway. I really, really enjoy both, both of these albums and I'm always going to have a good time with either of them. But again, one of them is just a level above the other. and Like, like that, a level above the other. So Ram, I think, has to go through here. Red Rose Speedway goes out. Okay, let's get him set up for the semi-final. Okay, we're into the semi-finals, and both of them happen to be John versus Paul. That's just the way it's worked out. So our first semi-final is Imagine, Imagine versus McCartney. So overall enjoyment, which do I enjoy listening to the most? Well, I absolutely adore listening to both of these albums. There's no doubt about that. Um, but I think one of them is one of these people at their solo peak, just about. And the other one is kind of, there's quite a few half fragmented ideas that are still, they're very enjoyable, but you know, this person would go on to do a lot better. So I think for overall enjoyment, appreciating it for what it is and the achievement that it is, I'm going to have to put Imagine into the final. And I hate to say it because I love this album so much, but McCartney is out. John's through to the final. Our second semi-final. Well, what a matchup this is. Sometime in New York City versus Ram. This is like that um, 
this is like that League 2 team that's managed to get to the FA Cup semi-final and has found itself against Liverpool and Klopp's put a full strength team out um, and it, it, there can only be one winner here this is uh, this is not really a matchup at all but it's the way that it's worked out in the draw Ram is an absolutely stunning album uh, it is so enjoyable from start to finish. There's no slack on there at all. Sometime in New York City, as much as I do enjoy it, I, it's, it's out of its depth in this company. I'm afraid it's a 5-0 win for Ram. They're into the final. So here it is, the grand final of my World Cup of early Beatles solo albums. And thanks to them being in opposite halves of the draw, we've managed to see these two titans get through Imagine versus Ram. So which am I going to declare the winner for overall enjoyment? Well, they are both albums that I enjoy listening to more than most others. Either one would be a worthy winner. So let's just go through each and let's see what I think. On Imagine, is there anything here that I'm not going to particularly enjoy listening to? Well, Gimme Some Truth, sorry, not Gimme Some Truth, How Do You Sleep can be hard work, obviously, because of the subject matter, you know, the, well, we've... Uh, yeah, the subject matter. It's not easy to listen to. I don't want to be a soldier, mama. I don't want to die. I do like it more since the 2018 remix, and I find it a lot more enjoyable to listen to since then. But it's not one that is, you know, it's not a highlight of the album for me. So there's a couple of things here that I might knock this album down for. But on the plus side, imagine Crippled Inside, Jealous Guy, Give Me Some Truth, Oh My Love, How Oh Yoko are phenomenally enjoyable songs to listen to for me so that's you know i'm gonna i think i'm gonna give that a a nine out of ten for enjoyment let's see how ram compares well weak spots i, I looked at the sort of less enjoyable spots of imagine what are the less enjoyable parts of this album there aren't any there just aren't any i don't not for me anyway uh, does it hit the highs that this hits? So, so the highs on here, things like Imagine, Jealous Guy, uh, How. Does it hit the highs? Well, with songs like Ram On, uh, sorry, Dear Boy, Uncle Albert Admiral Halsey, Monkbury Moon Delight, Heart of the Country, it does hit those highs. I think I'm, I think I'm going to have to give this at least nine and a half out of ten. I'm declaring Ram as the winner in my World Cup of early Beatles solo albums for overall enjoyment. There you go. Now this is a topic that I could uh, I may well revisit, and I might come and do some of those other uh, sections. It might not even be the same sixteen albums. I could pull out some other albums and do this. So there's, I think I can get some um, some value out of this format potentially if you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you've enjoyed it. If you have, I will certainly consider doing more of these. But there you go. Overall enjoyment, early Beatles soul albums. Ram is my winner. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know your comments. I will see you again. Please hit up that subscribe button if you haven't done already. Goodbye.